Today, we are going to discuss an inequality. Suppose A, B, C are positive such that the product is equal to 1. You are asked to show the cyclic expression here is greater than 2. You can solve this question using AMG and inequality. Please have a good try before look at the answer. Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Now, since a, b, c equals 1, we may let a to be x over y, b equals to y over z, and c equals to z over x, where x, y, z are all positive. So, call this expression as j. Now, we say that j will equal to 1 over x over y, the square root of c, that is, z square over x square plus 1 plus 1 over b that is y over z the square root of x square over y square plus 1 plus 1 over c z over x the square root of y square over z square plus 1 we can combine the expression inside the square root and we have the x square plus z square over x square the square of x square is equal to x because x positive and cancel with the x and this x over y is actually equal to y over square root x square plus z square similarly uh, this will equal to square root of x square plus y square and this is z and this is y square plus z square and this is x now we transform the expression in terms of a, b, c to x, y, z. And we are now going to use the AM GM inequality to solve this question. It is not directly on the three terms, but it is on each of the terms here. So with this, we may, we may consider we may consider x squared plus z squared over y squared plus 1. Using AMG inequality, this is greater than or equal to 2 square root of the product. The product equals to x squared plus z squared over y squared times 1. The left hand side is actually equal to x squared plus z squared plus y squared over y squared. This is greater than or equal to 2 of the square root x squared plus z square over y. This means that y over square root of x square plus z square is greater than or equal to 2 y square over x square plus y square plus z square. Now this is important for the first term. This will be equal to double of y square over x square plus y square plus z square. So, using similar argument, each of these will have the similar form and this will be greater than or equal to 2 of y square over x square plus y square plus z square. And similarly, this will be 2 of z square over the same denominator plus 2 of x square over the same denominator. And this will be equals to 2. So right now, we show that j is greater than or equal to 2. But we are to show that it is strictly greater than 2. We need to show that the equality never holds. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. For this inequality, the equality holds if and only if x squared plus z squared over y squared equals 1, which means that x squared plus z squared equals y squared. But in order to make j equals to 2, not only the first term has an equality host, we also need to consider the second and the third terms. And which means that in that case, x squared plus y squared equals to z squared, and y squared plus z squared equals to x squared. 
So J can be equal to 2 if all these conditions satisfy. And this will actually mean that double out of sum of x squared y squared and z squared equals to the sum of x squared y squared z squared. So it means that there's only one case, all of the x, y, z must equal to 0. And this is a contradiction because x, y, z are positive. It means that j never equals to 2 and hence j is greater than 2. There's one last point that we can take note is although j is never equals to 2 but it can be as close as to 2. We can show this by letting a equals to 1, b equals to t, and c equals to 1 over t for some positive t. When t is go to infinity, then we will see that j is very close to 2. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.